Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back your lovely faces to a brand new video here on the channel. Well, yesterday we saw a very jealous person speak for 11 minutes in a video deposition that Johnny Depp's team didn't even bother to cross-exam because there was no need for it. Because Ellen Barkin, who once used to be quite a good actress and everything else, she has thought... I'm going to go out there and I'm going to save the world. But I'm also going to look like a very, very jealous ex because he didn't want to spend the rest of his life with me. And this is what we got. So Alan Barkin claims Johnny Depp exhibited controlling behavior during defamation trial. So let's blow this up for you lovely guys. Like she blew up her uh, face yesterday. So, well, go up, well, there we go. Ellen Barkin testified against ex-partner Johnny Depp during his defamation trial against Amber Heard on Thursday. Parts of the Caribbean actor is in court for a defamation trial against his ex-wife over the 2018 op-ed in which she characterised herself as a public figure representing DA. The Aquaman actress is countersuing him for $100 million, which was debunked yesterday completely by the amazing Adam Waldman and everyone else who has actually testified for her. Her acting coach, her talent agent, everyone. So, as part of the trial, a deposition of Depp's ex, fear and loathing uh, Las Vegas co-star Barkin gave in 2019 was played in court, so three years ago. Recalling his alleged controlling and demanding behaviour during their relationship in the early 90s, she testified that Depp was just a jealous man who often asked her, where are you going? Who are you going with? What did you do last night? Normal questions, if you ask me. Oh, you're going out? Oh, yeah, where are you going? Oh, who are you going with? Oh, cool, all right, have a nice time. You know? The drop-dead gorgeous actors also claimed Depp once became very, very angry over a scratch on her back, and he insisted it came from me having sex with a person who hasn't been him. She added it was very common for Depp to exhibit jealousy. Aww. This is nice, isn't it? You know, she's literally being like, oh, everyone wanted me. Yeah. She also alleged Depp once threw a wine bottle in her direction over a fight with someone else in the room, saying, I don't know why he threw the bottle. Back in 68, went on to claim that the 58-year-old actor was always drinking and smoking and was also frequently tripping under the influence of hallucinogenics. So, okay, then with that there, did you ever partake with him? Did you ever, you know, because we have seen... Everyone who has said he did drugs, they all took part in it with him. Barkin also recalled that Depp was the one to break off the relationship, saying she never heard from him again after that. So he literally, he pump and dumped you. That's exactly what he did. Then you got in July 2020, a statement from her was read out during Depp's libel trial against the son, insisting the bottle incident was untrue. He also claimed that Barkin held a grudge against him, and he did not have anger management issues. Depp lost that trial after a judge found the DA claims made by her to be substantially true. But again, no, when you've got judges and lawyers worldwide going, it won a fair trial. He did not, excuse me, get a fair trial, because he didn't. You know, and then you get people who are supporting her, who haven't even watched the trial, who haven't even looked at the evidence or anything. They all just literally believe what the mass media say. And the mass media, well... They got an agenda. They want to get your clicks. That's exactly what they want to do. Then it goes on to say that the current defamation trial continues in the court in Virginia. One thing regarding all of this, and with me, it was the big tell. She said that uh, they were dating in 1994. That's what she said yesterday. And they were filming Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas when they started going out together. Well... Fear and Loathing did not actually start filming until the 3rd of August 1997, three years after she said that they were dating. If they were dating in 1994, continuing all the way up, and 97, when they were filming Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, to me, that says that it's at least a three-year uh, three relationship. But she said yesterday... I don't know, it was five or six months. It wasn't a romantic relationship. We'll change that to sexual. Which people in the chat yesterday, which was actually very, very true. That is actually from um, Basic Instinct with Catherine Trammell by uh, by Sharon Stone. She goes, I wasn't having a relationship with him. I was effing him. 
which is exactly what she said yesterday. And to be honest with you, if this is the case, that they were together for three years or whatever, I'm pretty sure he was dating Kate Moss in 97. I'm pretty sure of that. So, you know, there's so much going on that when she said yesterday, everything was just literally a jealous woman who, at that time, again, Johnny Depp has been voted like the sexiest man or one of them for years. Every year, going, I don't know, for decades, like, he's always in the list. And with her saying that, that just shows it's a jealous person that they do not want to spend with them. She wanted to spend it with him, obviously, because at the time, well, still now, but, you know, she is 10 years his uh, age. And she probably thought, I got a toy boy, and he's always in the running for the you know, the, the best-looking Hollywood man or the sexiest man alive or whatever. That's what she wanted. And to be honest with you, a lot of stuff, it shows. As well, if you look on Twitter, if you look on Facebook and all these other social media sites, Ellen Barkin is barking mad. That is it. She's been one of the... Uh, one of the key people in nearly every major Me Too movement or Me Too case going. She always has to put her head into it. It's almost like, no one wants me as an actress anymore. I'm going to stick my head out there and be like, oh, I support you. Just because she wants to get a name in the papers. And it's sad when this comes down to it, but Ellen Barkin is a has-been. She is. You know, she literally... Ocean's 13 was the last time I remember seeing her in a film. And I believe that was 2007, round there. So, again, even back then, she she had a role opposite Al Pacino and obviously the all-star cast. But that's the last time I remember seeing her. But again, guys, remember, this is my opinion, because this is my channel, obviously. But, yeah, I really do think she is a has-been, and she just wants to get a name out there. Which is kind of sad, because... If it comes out that she's lying, because she seems to be the type of person who will say anything just to get her name out there. And this proves it. 11-minute video deposition, which lawyers were laughing at. Lawyers were stating, this has nothing to do with it. When you have lawyers who are just watching it saying that, you know you've messed up. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and I'll see you all very soon.